Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on memory. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Uh, this video will be specifically focused on memory. So what we're gonna do in this video as a whole is we are going to talk about the different sizes of memory, the different speeds of memory, the different compatible options of memory, and then we're gonna actually physically install it and show you all the different memory channels and the proper way to install it if you're not fully maxing it out. So let's just hop into the good stuff. So the uh, different speeds of RAM that you can install install into the 740 will be 2133, 2400, 2666, 2933, or 3200. Those are going to be your uh, speeds as a whole. But I do want to note that if you use 3200 speed with second gen scalable procs, it will clock down to 2933. And if you use 2933 and 3200 with first gen scalable procs, it's going to clock down to 2666. So depending on what processor you have in there will depend on what is the true max speed. And then it gets a little bit more complicated after that. Depending on how many dim slots you fill up in your channel, it could clock down a little bit further. So uh, it it can be a little bit tough and if you're confused at all definitely uh, feel free to reach out to our sales team and we're here to help to get you the right kit for your server so that's just going to be sales at cloudninjas.com that's sales at cloudninjas.com so what are the different sizes that you can use well you can go as low as a 4 gig an 8 gig a 16 gig a 32 gig a 64 gig or all the way up to 128 gig but there's a key with 128 gig and that brings us to what type of ram is compatible with my r740 server well you have ecc registered which is known as an rdim and you have load reduced which is known as an lrdim with ecc registered you can put in 2464 gigs for 1.5 terabytes at 2933 speed with a second gen scalable proc Whereas with load reduce, you can get twice the scalability. You can put in three terabytes of RAM using 24, 128 gigabytes, which is the key for those 128 gigabytes is it has to be load reduced at again, 2933 speed with a second and scalable proc. So now that we know a little bit more about the speeds, the size is what's compatible. Let's actually install them and show you the channels and get a nice close up of the server. But I'm gonna grab my ESD gear before we do. All right, have my ASD gear on. One of the things I always like to do is lay out everything you're gonna need, and all you're gonna need is your memory modules. No tools will be needed, assuming that your latch is set to unlock. So pop your latch, lift your top, just like any Dell server you've ever been in before. We will need to remove our air baffle, so we're gonna come in here and lift this just straight up. And just for the sake of the video, you do not actually have to do this at home. I am gonna remove our fan bank just to get a little bit better shot and better angle so you can get a clear shot of all the uh, the dim slots here. So uh, one of the things I always like to point out also is that uh, on the air baffle itself, the CPUs and the DIMM slots are all labeled. It might be a little bit difficult to see. And on the motherboard, CPU one, CPU two, you can't see it, but it's labeled. And in between each actual DIMM slot, it's labeled as well. And again, it might be hard to see on camera, but basically everything is labeled in multiple ways. Uh, but this video is here also to help you just to make sure you put everything in the right slots because if you're not maxing it out in the sense of filling up every dim slot what slots do you put it into and i get that that's a, a you know a tough question and that's what we're here to help for so all right let's uh, start off by showing you um that there are uh, this cpu one cpu one has 12 dim slots within the 12 dim slots there are six memory channels and how do you identify your memory channels well the white dim slot is the start of your memory channel and the black dim slot is the second slot in your channel so if you're not fully maxing it out let's say you're putting in 12 8 gigs or 12 16 gigs or 12 32 gigs you would want to put them in all of the white dim slots of course assuming you have two cpus all the white dim slots first before you put them in any of the black dim slots because what you want to have is a nice even distribution across all your memory channels all of them performing evenly and equally as opposed to overloading one channel and having uh, another channel doing no work at all so it's all about balance and that will maximize your performance so uh, let's start by talking about the uh, the dim slots now so uh, this right here is a1 a2 a3 swing over here you're gonna have a4 a5 
A6. So on CPU1, those are the first six in that order uh, dim slots that you want to use. Now if you have two CPUs, you're gonna swing over here, you're gonna go to B1, B2, B3, swing over here, B4, B5, B6. So those will be uh, the first 12 slots that we put them in as a whole. And then if you're gonna max it out, you're gonna come back over here to A7, A8, A9, A10, A11, A12, B7, B8, B9, B10, B11, B12, and that is our order. So now we'll go ahead and actually physically install them and we'll fast forward through this process and show you exactly uh, how to do this. And actually, before we fast forward, I want to point out two things. So, uh, one, there are uh, there's a notch right here. This notch right here is, is known as a key. It's not perfectly centered, unfortunately. And so, uh, when you go to install it, you have to make sure that you have it faced the right way, or you could damage the leads on your memory module, or you could damage the dim slot itself, which would mean you might need to replace the motherboard. So, these are not problems you want to run into. So, just make sure you line everything up. And the other thing I always like to point out. Is is when you install your module, right now it looks like it's fully in, but it's really not. You need to make sure you hear these clicks. And those two clicks are the tabs clicking to the side, pulling it down and make sure the leads have a nice firm connection with your dim slot. And you might see this right here. So that, it feels like it's in there. That is a very common problem. Actually the number one problem that we see where someone thinks their module is fully inserted, but it's just slightly out. And because of that, this will not register. It will show this as a, a bad module and potentially even throw off the whole channel. And you just need to make sure, again, you hear those clicks. So now we're gonna fast forward and show you you uh, slot by slot in order how to do this. All right, so that is how you would install your modules. And uh, right now we got 2464 gigs in here, so this is actually 1.5 terabytes. You can again go all the way up to three terabytes uh, and max this thing out, which is a heck of a memory configuration. And that's the nice thing about these boxes right now is that you can actually put in a ton of RAM and some really good procs and not break the bank and keep it under $10,000 and be uh, a, a hell of a solution, to be quite honest with you. And Right now, if you go buy a brand new server uh, with the same kind of specs, now don't get me wrong, the newer stuff is going to be better, of course, but the same general kind of specs, it could be forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. So this is just a really budget-friendly uh, type of high-end solution um, if you're going to be putting in a bunch of RAM into your system. So, all right, if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom-built servers, Dell, HPE, Super Micro, IBM, we would love the opportunity to earn your business. Please email us at sales at, at cloudninja.com that's sales at cloudninja.com and hey thanks again for stopping by guys take care